I'm not gonna waste any of your time. We're getting straight into the tier list for testosterone stimulation, starting off with icing your balls. Yep, icing your testicles. Where does that go on the list? So the reason why you need cold testicles is because biologically your body puts your testicles outside of your body for a reason. Um, specifically, do you need to actually ice them? I would say not. I would say it's not really a big factor. What you wanna do is be cognizant of the fact that your balls are outside your body for a reason. So don't actively go and heat them up, but you don't have to just go and ice them all the time. Next, let's see, we're gonna move into strength training. Where does that evolve? This is like actually pushing yourself as far as strength goes. Um, so you'd be looking at like heavy deadlifts, heavy squats, things that actually like put heavy loads on your body, no pun intended. That's gonna go straight up on the S tier. The stimulation of testosterone literally gets triggered when you go exert your body because it needs to rebuild, right? And so what happens when you're doing that is you're also releasing HGH. Okay, this is human growth hormone. Human growth hormone only comes out two times in your life. It comes out when you are exerting yourself massively with strength training, with progressive overload, with actually like lifting heavy weights and during puberty. That's it. All right, now drinking water. Just straight up like drinking any sort of water. How important is that? Decent, I mean to live, yeah, it's very important. Uh, but as far as testosterone stimulation, like you need water to function. Your body needs water in order to like transport cells, like move um, things around in order to just perform. Yeah, I mean, that that's the C tier. Plastics, when you're drinking from plastics, how important is that? Well, obviously it is not good at all for testosterone for the fact that you get microplasm. See what happens, they pump that water. It's hot when they move it in those um, those plastic bottles. It's actually hot water and then it molds around. It, like it, it, it destroys some of that plastic and that plastic gets in the water and when you drink it, you get that plastic in your body and so it's called microplasms. Those microplasms can harm your endocrine system which is the system that produces testosterone. So I would say that's C tier. I would say C tier, it's important to watch out and try to drink from glass bottles as much as possible but you know, if you got a drink out of a plastic bottle every once in a while, it's not gonna hurt all that much. Just don't do it like all the time. Next, environment. How much does your environment play a role on testosterone stimulation? I'd say that's A. That's A tier. Think about it like um, like when when you just have a kid. I mean, you may not have a kid, but when, when a, a male just has a child, obviously the female's hormones are pumping, doing like all this crazy stuff, but the males are as well. And what happens is it typically, when your environment changes, you, you have a child now, your estrogen increases and your testosterone decreases. See, estrogen and testosterone go back and forth. Estrogen is typically female. Uh, testosterone is typically male. Your estrogen will increase and your testosterone will decrease. This is going to cause you to have more female tendencies and obviously less testosterone stimulation. That's just from you having a child. As well, think of like um, when like Navy SEALs, right? Military. When you're in the military and you're around a bunch of testosterone men, you've got guns and you're doing like manly stuff, testosterone is going to be higher than when you're at the daycare watching and your kid play around, right? Right, so environment, yeah, that, that's A tier. Now we're gonna get into like hygiene. This is gonna be like your shampoos, um, maybe like your deodorants, the stuff that you're putting on your body. But think about it, it happens every single day. Like you should be showering every single day and you're constantly putting these chemicals and things on there. If they're bad, then that's gonna hurt. If they're good chemicals, well then it's not, like it's just gonna, be a benefit, right? And so if you're putting on those bad chemicals, like that, that really will affect your testosterone levels. And so curating those to where they're helping your testosterone levels is gonna be important. I would say that's, that's B tier, solid B tier. Okay, now we're talking just nutrition, right? Maybe some whole foods, things of that sort. We're gonna put that up with S tier. Nutrition, right? Micronutrients is what fuels your testosterone growth. The building of all of your whole entire body, like how your physical body builds comes from, is derived from the energy you get from foods. So foods, highly, highly important and making sure that it's like healthy, foods, okay? Like you want proteins, you want fats, you don't want much carbohydrates, right? That's going to increase and stimulate testosterone and what you want to be looking for. S tier, no doubt. So we got strength training and nutrition up on the S tier and I, I'm with that 100%. Now like chlorine, okay? Where does chlorine go? Well, I'd say it's not really like 
something you need to worry about. Yes, chlorine does hurt testosterone levels. Uh, if you have, um, like if you're ingesting chlorine, obviously just please do not do that. But um, maybe like swimming in a pool, right? When you're swimming in a pool, is it going to boost testosterone? No, is it gonna reduce it? Yeah, but like how often are you swimming in a pool with chlorine? Like, do you need to say, eh, I'm not gonna swim in that pool because I want my testosterone to be high. And again, just go swim, go swim in the pool. You don't have to worry about it, okay? Next is gonna be cleaning products. This is gonna be like your household cleaning items, uh, things that you're like squirting your countertop with, you know, what, like Clorox wipes, that kind of shit, right? So I, that's not as important as like water and plastics, but it's still, it, it's more important than the chlorine. Like, yes, it does matter because once again, it cut like in the pool, when you're swimming in the chlorine pool, that happens 30 times a year. Okay. Now, if you are cleaning your house, that probably happens twice, twice a week, I would hope. And so you're constantly like putting those fumes in the bot in your air. And then obviously in your body, when you're like breathing, um, think of like also like candles, right? Like, uh, like lavender candles. It's terrible, terrible for testosterone levels, putting that in your body, not any good. Uh, you need to try to find chemicals that are safe for the human body and the endocrine system, making sure that, uh, you can, stimulate your testosterone that way and not putting crap in there. Okay, next is like a, a meditation, like pretty much just being calm. One hormone that is opposite of testosterone is typically um, cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone that is released when you're under stress. Now, this isn't the same stress as strength training. Strength training does, yes, there's stress involved, but it's temporary, it's boost, and then that actually brings on HGH more testosterone. This stress is gonna be like if a lion was chasing you, right? And then your body's like, boom, cortisol, you gotta run. Well, nowadays we have stress from everything, right? And so high amounts of stress, high amounts of cortisol, that's going to definitely affect uh, your body and your testosterone stimulation. I would say, I would say that's A tier. That, that is just up there with your environment. Like if you're constantly stressed out by your environment, people around you, the things that are going on, if, you, if that's making you stressed out all the time, testosterone is gonna be low. You gotta just calm down. Next, we're talking alcohol. If you reduce alcohol from your body, from your life, your mindset, how is it gonna affect testosterone? Well, obviously it's gonna be great for it. And I think that's an A tier. Like that ties in with nutrition a little bit, right? Nutrition, what you're putting in your body, fueling your body, alcohol, if you're like, alcohol is a poison. And if you're putting that poison in your body, not only is it gonna affect your body and hurt it and harm it, but specifically with testosterone levels, what it does is after that, uh, after your body processes it all, there's a byproduct of that that comes out that is similar to estrogen and actually increasing estrogen levels. Like we talked about cortisol, stress and testosterone, right? How they're opposites. Estrogen and testosterone are opposites. Estrogen would be female, testosterone would be male. If your estrogen levels increase, your testosterone levels would decrease. That's no good, no good. We want, we want the opposite, so less alcohol is gonna be better for you. Next, we're talking about fluoride in your toothpaste. How important is that? I would say it's not as important. Like so, so fluoride is basically a chemical that, uh, that they put in toothpaste to like try to fix your enamel or what, I, I don't, uh, when you ingest it, it's poison. Okay, you don't want to ingest fluoride. And obviously, like you don't suck down toothpaste. I know that, I, we understand that. The problem is that you're putting that in your mouth and you're spitting it out. Well, there's still like, it still stays in there. Like it's not like you could spit out every little, bla like you still have an aftertaste of that toothpaste. And that is fluoride as well being kept in there and being ingested in your body. Now, if you do, if you brush your teeth twice a day, like most people do, then what you're gonna have is two times of poisoning every single day. For how long? And that continues repeating over and over and over and over and over and over. See, that is going to hurt your testosterone level. And so that's why it's at C tier. Like, is it something that you should worry about all the time? Just get, just get fluoride free toothpaste and you're good. Next, we're talking about circadian rhythm. This is gonna be similar to, uh, well, uh, similar to being like calm. And uh, I would think that's A tier. So circadian rhythm is like your biological clock. Okay, it's the basically the thing that tells your body when it needs to start calming down to go to sleep and when it needs to wake up to rise to go take on the day. If your circadian rhythm gets out of whack, then your hormones get all whack because your sleep is out of whack. And so the, it, think of it like when the sun's setting, your body needs to start regulating its temperature, start winding down so you can go to sleep. When it's rising, obviously you get up and go go through your day. That same time, if you go to bed, that same time, every time your circadian rhythm is gonna be in sync 
going to be hitting. It's going to be firing. It's going to be doing what it needs to. If you are not in sync, it's going to throw everything out of whack, including your hormones and testosterone. Next is going to be your phone. So not only am I talking about your phone, uh, like screen time, like just you know, if you're just watching it, like obviously that's not gonna help you at all with testosterone. But I'm also talking about your phone next to your testicles, right? If they're right there in your pocket and your phone is just like constantly emitting this radiation, EMFs is what it's called. If it's emitting this radiation right next to your testicles, that's not any good either. And so I would put that up there with the D tier. Like, is it something you need to just go crazy about? Like, oh my gosh, EMS, like tinfoil hat. Like, no, I mean, just, just don't put your phone right next to like sitting on your testicles. Okay, looks like we got, we run out of time, so we gotta just kind of run through this real fast. Okay, we got underwear. This is gonna be like squeezing your balls. That, yeah, you probably need to worry about as much as you do your phone. Um, next, you have osmosis filter. This is the fluoride that is in your tap water. It's destroying you. Mm, I would say up there with uh, that. What you can do, I, I go to Whole Foods and I fill up like a big giant like five gallon jug, Whole Foods, it, it fixes it like that. So you don't have to worry about it after that. This is going to be, once again, the tap water, the fluoride in your tap water of your shower head. If you get like a filtered shower head, fixes that like that. That I would say is probably the same as the, uh, you're doing every single, ah, you know what? I'm gonna switch these. I'm gonna go up here. That's gonna be your osmosis filter. That's gonna be your fluoride free water tap, okay? Cool, looking good. Now, females, when you're around a bunch of females, your testosterone is gonna be stimulated, it's gonna be boosted. How important is that? I would say just about, I would say probably, yeah. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna go right here with the uh, underwear, with the phone. Like, yeah, you need to be around females, uh, but is it gonna kill you? Mm, nah, I mean, you're gonna be around females anyways. Like, you're you're male, you get attracted to them, so it's just that way. Okay, how about some porn? Where is that gonna be? I'm gonna put that at B tier. B tier is looking light right now. I think that it's not gonna be as important as your circadian rhythm alcohol, but what happens is porn doesn't directly like affect your testosterone levels, but indirectly it does. See, your testosterone is produced in your hypothalamus and your pituitary gland. This is where it starts, where it's not produced, producing your testicles, but that's where it starts, right? Once it gets signaled, then it gets sent down to your testicles, gets produced. If you're screwing up your brain in your pituitary gland, your hypothalamus, what happens when you're ingesting this porn, you're getting constant dopamine constant hits, right? Just you keep on doing it, you're getting more hits, instant gratification, it's destroying your pituitary gland. You're not, you're, you're regulating too much dopamine where it's like overdrive and it's not gonna be sending signals to produce testosterone, it's sending to get dopamine hits. And then you start to become lazy and now the dopamine that comes from the, the production of testosterone doing hard things, now that's not being regulated. Instead, you would rather just do easy things, instant gratification, which comes from Porn. So B tier, solid. Now you're gonna be like walking, any sort of movement. Um, this may be like 10,000 steps, any of that. More movement's good, but it's not like a necessity. If you're doing strength training, which is a necessity, then you don't need too much movement. Okay, now low fat, that, that's important. Low fat, it, that's gonna be up there with circadian rhythm, with your environment. If you have low amounts of fat, you are going to have higher levels of testosterone no matter what. Because what, I mean, when you have an excess amount of fat, then you have what's called metabolic syndrome, which just destroys your endocrine system. Everything about metabolic syndrome just completely crushes it. It's, it's close to like type two diabetes. But you don't want that. When you have high fat, it's gonna cause that. Like start strength training more. Sunlight, that is an S tier. Sunlight's an S tier, why? You're like, wait, what, what, what's this? I mean, like I wear sunscreen. I wear sunscreen to block out the sun. What, what? If you do that, then please click off this video and go do something else. Everyone else hit that subscribe button right now. Everyone that is here that wants to get sunlight and wants to boost their testosterone levels, you must get sunlight. You have to, okay? Sunlight is what leads us into our circadian rhythm, our sleep patterns, which then allows our body to reload and reproduce all of the hormones that we need for our body to be fueled, ready to go for the day. If you are not getting a proper amount of sunlight, then you're completely destroying every system of your body. Sunlight is the energy source of life. If you're not getting proper sunlight, then you are not having a proper life. They, there's literal studies that show like people who live in Northern like Alaska and stuff where the sun doesn't come up, they're more depressed than people who live in sunnier areas. That, that is because their hormones are out of whack. You gotta have proper sunlight. Tying into that, sleep, S tier. You gotta have 
proper sleep. And I'm not talking like you need eight hours of sleep. No, it just needs to have, there's four types of sleep, okay? There's like uh, when you're light or right, when you're like falling asleep, it's like you're, it's just, you're about to fall asleep. Then there's light sleep and there's deep cycle sleep and then there's REM cycle sleep. Deep cycle sleep is gonna be when your body is repairing your physical body, okay? So like your muscles getting repaired, your hormones are getting repaired. We need that. As well, REM cycle sleep you need as well, it's going to repair your mental cognitive state, right? Memories, those sort of things are gonna come with REM cycle. You gotta have some deep cycle sleep. That's when your body's stimulating testosterone at its highest, which is one reason why if you're not having morning wood, you probably have low testosterone. So check on that as well. Speaking of that, supplements. Um, supplements, they're not that important. Honest, like, do you even need to wear it? There's like Tunga Aoi, there's Ashwagandha. Like, they're, eh, yes, but if you have proper nutrition, then you don't have to worry about supplements all that much. So I'd say that's, that's D tier. This is gonna be like your healthy fats, right? Like your uh, red meats, uh, your fatty fish. This is gonna be like your omega threes, some omega sixes as well. This is what derives your testosterone, like, like your testosterone derives from these healthy fats. I'm gonna put that at B tier. It's not quite A tier. I would say, yeah, ah, no, it is, it is, it's A tier. And here's the reason why. It's A tier because testosterone, the building block, the main building block for testosterone, is specifically steroid hormones, which is what testosterone is, is cholesterol. Cholesterol builds those steroid or hormones. That's the building block for it. Cholesterol is derived from fats. Fats come from like your, like I said, salmons, omega-3s, um, your avocados, uh, even some like coconut oil. Like these are all good sources uh, or like beef tallow, butters. Those things are like good sources. Omega-3s, omega-6s, red meats, great for it. Gonna be good for cholesterol, which is what you want. You actually want, for high testosterone, you want high cholesterol. And you're like, what? Well, but I wanna live a long time. I don't want a heart attack. No, you want high HDLs and low LDLs. These both are cholesterols. See, HDL cholesterol, you want high. We want high HDLs because that's going to stimulate testosterone. Whereas LDLs, we want low because that's gonna stimulate heart attacks. So we don't want that, okay? Next you got like receipts. These are gonna be like when you come, when you're like buying stuff from the grocery store, like that's, it just, don't worry about that. Okay, you're like yeah, there's microplasms on there, but like you don't, you don't have to worry all that much, okay? Mm -hmm. Last one's gonna be competition. Stimulating testosterone competition is a factor. Think about like uh, like when people go to prisons, they automatically, like their testosterone starts increasing because of the amount of competition there. Football, any, any sports or things like that. I'm gonna put that at C tier competition it is important it's under it's going to be under form but that's going to be your testosterone tier list we're stimulating it every single day down below in the link in my description you are going to find a place where you can also find competition if you're like just online just watching all of this stuff and you're not actually competing anymore in high school in any sort of athletics if you're not in prison then click that link in the description it's going to take you a community where we're constantly competing and stimulating our testosterone so Go ahead and click that link down below.